Coming up next, I'm going to compare and pick my favorite between two new, what I think are excellent Rosier Dove perfumes. This is the Apex line, the Apex Cologne style, which is an Eau de Parfum, and the Apex Parfum, which is more a straight concentration. Going to describe them, show you them, and pick my favorite coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery. Those of you will clearly recognize the beautiful background here in the store. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Apex fragrance from Roja Dove, which happens to be actually one of my more favorites that he's released lately. Uh, there's other ones that have come out, like say for example, Manhattan and um, uh, oligarch, both of which are subject to name changes and all kinds of controversy right now that are doing really well. I have my own theories. Maybe it's because they're great. Maybe it's because they're limited and maybe because all the, you know, commotion around them. But also that's, you know, been released in the last few months. And let me just get the bottles. I have them behind me. Are the first one that I smelled, I think came out first, is actually the Roja Apex and this is the Cologne style, which he's done now for a few years. Think of Elysium uh, and think of uh, Creation E. These are ones that are Cologne style fragrances based on maybe, well, for example, uh, Creation E was based on Enigma and Creation E Parfum. So he's done this before where he creates a Cologne style, which typically when I say cologne style, that doesn't mean it's cologne in concentration. It means cologne in style. This is still an eau de parfum concentration. It just means cologne style, which is more citrusy, lighty, uh, light citrus notes at the top. That's really all cologne style means. And then you have, again, the smaller bottle. So look at the two next to each other. You have the parfum, the eau de parfum, and you have the Apex Parfum. All right. Um, Price-wise, guys, uh, the price on these, do you know? Okay, so this one is, th just to let you guys know, retail, $345, that's a 100 milliliter bottle, and then you have the 50 milliliter bottle, and we're gonna get a price in a second on that. So you have the 345 for the Eau de Parfum 100 milliliter, then you have the extrait or parfum strength, 480, 485. Okay, so there you go on the prices. Now, let me just, you know, get some scent strips here because I want to give you kind of my impression and just spray them for you here and tell you what I think. Um, I've sprayed the, and now smelled for a while, the, the cologne style, the Eau de Parfum, and I love it. To me, immediately you get this very citrusy, orange notes that, mm, it, it, I've talked about this before, and uh, what am I looking for? Oh, okay. I've talked about this before. What these remind me of are an 80s perfume updated for today's society, or today's fragrance lover. And I implore everyone out there watching this, I think if you are over a certain age, when you smell Apex, either one, you're going to, it's gonna bring you back to maybe late 70s, early 80s, even late 80s type perfume style, which is bold, it's masculine, it's a little bit over the top, but it's got that citrus, it's got mandarin, it's got bergamot, it's got orange, um, pineapple, it's got some fruitiness in there, but it's also got a lot of green notes. So it signifies a lot of this, reminds me almost of that kind of Dracar, green polo smell with a lot of the green notes, balsam fir, cypress, patchouli, uh, oak moss. Oak moss always has a very green smell. So these are gonna be what I would call green shepra, sandalwood, labdomen, resinous. Uh, so the, I really, when this Eau de Parfum came out, I was a big fan. So I'm really just kind of smelling now for the first time today, because this just came in the Parfum, and let me give you my impression of that. So if you look at the note breakdown, by the way, between the two, 
they're basically the same. So I think the only real difference that we're talking about here is the, the parfum is obviously a much higher concentration or, or you know, a higher concentration of perfume oils, smaller bottle. And right off the bat, my first impression between the two, this is the parfum and this is the cologne style. This, the, the parfum style reminds me still a little bit more of that classic 80s smell. I think the parfum comes across to me is a little bit, obviously, typically, gonna be, typically a parfum is going to be a little denser, a little more intense. And it's also a little bit smokier, but it's still got a lot of that citrus and that green notes. So, it, it feels like in the parfum, I'm, I'm going back and forth as you can see. The parfum is a little bit more intense, like all the notes seem to have a little bit more going on, whereas the, the cologne style, to me, feels a little bit more blended together. And I don't mean this in a positive or negative way. It just seems to me more kind of of a neutral blended together, very, of course, expertly blended. Whereas the parfum, the notes are kind of are a little bit more individually like enhanced. And I think again, that's gonna be because of the strength of the concentration of the oil. Very interesting. So they are similar. Obviously, built around the same, almost exact notes. So let's get right to the point. I'm gonna have to put it on my skin to really say which one would I prefer. Off the scent strip, off the scent strip, I would say that I, maybe it's because it's a little bit newer. I like the, the parfum, but let's go right on to the, here. So here is the cologne style on my left arm and the parfum on my right arm. All right, let's smell this. See how I'm doing here. All right. So I, I make sure this is my microphone. Yeah, make sure it's still. All right. I know what I, I know what I like. Right off off. Just first impressions, I like, for me, the cologne style Eau de Parfum. Uh, a, it's a little bit obviously cheaper than the other one, so people are gonna like that, but it, it to me has more of that old school 80s vibe, which I adore in fragrances because that's the era I grew up in. I have a lot of good memories from that, from learning to first wear perfumes, to going out, to meeting girls, to your parents, you're smelling your dad's perfume. A lot of that is kind of evoking that sense to me. Um, and I think the, the parfum, the extrait is, again, very similar. And if I didn't smell the other one, I may not even recognize this, but it's a smokier. It's, it's just smokier. It's a little bit richer. It's beautiful. I like it. I, I would wear either one, absolutely. But if I had to choose between the two and someone said, pick which one, uh, you know, you're gonna get a bottle, which one would you like? I would take personally the Parfum. It just, again, maybe it's nostalgic. And that's why perfume is so, so really individualistic because that smell has a very direct link to your limbic system in your brain where emotion is processed and memory is processed. And so it's gonna have a different feel, smell for every person. And that just gives me a really cool uh, memory and vibe and smell. So there you have it. Excellent fragrances. Look at the note breakdown. Actually, you know what? Let me just read a few of these to you. See if this in any way is something that would intrigue a lot of you out there. It's got orange. Both of them have essentially the same notes. Orange, mandarin, lemon, bergamot, pineapple, jasmine, cistus, cypress, balsam fir, leather, oak moss, patchouli, tobacco, musk, olibanum, rum, cashmere wood, juniper berries, galbanum, sandalwood, labdamin, elemi, amber, ambergris, benzoin. This is a potpourri 
of delicious fragrance chemicals, both natural and aroma chemicals, AKA synthetics, wonderfully blended in both. Really, either one of these are, your, for most people, I think if you get your nose on it, you're gonna love them. So let me know what you think. Have you guys tried them yet? Have you tried either one? Let me know your opinions. Let me know which one you favor. Always love to hear you guys and, and what you think. I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and perfume.